After an absolute incredible year exploring the South Island of New Zealand, our year abroad was coming to a close. But before we jumped on a plane back to Canada, there were still so many places that had to be checked off our bucket list. This is our North Island story, and welcome to the Aotearoa Diaries. Welcome back everyone to episode 2 of the Aotearoa Diaries. Uh, we're starting things off at the Putangaroa Pinnacles or if anybody's a Lord of the Rings junkie it's the di road to Dimholt or Dimholt Road. It's uh, where Aragorn and Legolas and Gimli all walk through to uh, meet the dead to uh, plead for them to come to their side in the, the last battle of the uh, Return of the King. So uh, we're walking along the stream bed right now. Of course, when in the juicy, it's got to be pouring rain, so it's uh, it's pissing down on us again. But yeah, we're uh, grinding things out. It's not too bad on the stream bed, nothing too muddy. But yeah, we're gonna keep walking here, and then hopefully we uh, we'll see the pinnacle soon. What do you guys say? <laughs> we'll get you there. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit all right, everybody. So we just settled into our spot for the <laughs> night on day four. Uh, we originally were supposed to stay in Martinboro and check out some wineries, but ended up being 25 to 45 millimeters of rain, whatever it was. It rained all damn day. So we kept driving another four hours, headed to Hawks Bay right outside of Hastings, and uh, look what the tide brought in. <laughs> Oh, a couple old friends. Hello, friends. Anybody who uh, tuned into the Juicy Series know these two clowns. We got Logan and Lauren, and uh, we're going to be spending a couple days with them. Uh, we're going to head to Gisborne tomorrow and just check out the sights and scenery. But yeah, <laughs> figured we'd check in one last time before we uh, drink way too many drinks and uh, play too many cards. So yeah, cheers to that. Cheers. 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 Incline with just slippery little moss. I'm about to wreck this thing. Let's do it.
After an exhilarating time at Riri Rock Slides, we decided to take the quick five minute drive to Riri Falls, a place where we could sit back and relax. Logan, however, had different plans. As you can see, we are situated at beautiful Ririri Falls, and we're just having a, a little early supper before we track back into uh, Gisborne, but absolutely incredible. You saw it. You can go underneath the waterfall and slide out, and it's, it's just incredible. The water's nice and crisp, but it's definitely refreshing. A refreshing little adventure. But yeah, we're going to cook up a little supper, and then uh, the girl's got a little tattoo appointment to uh, get the New Zealand palm leaf. Uh, uh, all done up so yeah excited to see how those turn out so stick with it and uh, we'll be back on the road in a second Hi everyone, uh, we're just checking in. We're just at a little marine reserve right now. Uh, we're just taking a break, making some burritos for lunch. Uh, but we've just been sitting out on the beach. I read some of my book. Uh, Chase did go in the water and do some snorkeling, but sadly his camera sort of just pooched on us. So we have it in some rice right now. Um, but he did some snorkeling and he saw an octopus and a few lobsters, but sadly nothing, no video evidence, so he could be lying. But yeah, we're just taking a little break right now, making some food, and then we're just gonna go enjoy the sun some more after that. Okay, so we just stopped at our second stop for the day and we're in uh, Tolega Bay. We're on Tolega Bay Wharf, which is the largest wharf in New Zealand. And if anybody's asking back home what the heck a wharf is, a wharf is pretty much just like a long pier. It's just a name for a pier in New Zealand. So yeah, we're uh, just checking out some of the beautiful sceneries. The bay is incredible. Just uh, the mountains and stuff around and beautiful turquoise water is incredible. So we're just gonna finish the 600 meter walk back to the Juicy and then head up to uh, the tip top of the East Coast 
head our way to the East Cape Lighthouse and find a beach to uh, chill out on for the rest of the night. But yeah, North Island's grown on me. Let's keep going. But if I could, I'd fast forward all the way to the day she got here. That first time on the coast by the ocean, somewhere in Oregon. All right, everyone. That's going to close things off for episode two of the Aotearoa Diaries series. Uh, yeah, what a what a quick and amazing three days. Absolutely amazing uh, running into, well, not running into, kind of pre-planned to see Logan and Lauren. Uh, we were hoping to see them at least one day to spend two full days and do some amazing adventures with them. was uh, just the, the cherry on top to an amazing year with them. So uh, best, of, uh, best of luck with the rest of their trip, and I uh, can't wait to hear all about it. But yeah, we're wrapping things up just uh, up at East Cape right now. Just had some beautiful warm showers and we are getting ready to head to bed because we are up tomorrow at quarter to five because sunrise is bright and early, 5.40. And we want to be one of the first people in the world to see the sunrise to a new day. So that's how you're going to start off episode three. So uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss out on that. Thanks for uh, sticking with the, the series and I hope you're enjoying. Cheers. Next time on the Aotearoa Diaries. There we go. Fish.